Lexi. I'm Suzanne Ridgway and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a stovetop air fryer meatloaf with some potato rounds. Throw them all in the air fryer together and have dinner done quickly. But first, smash on that subscribe button, tap on that bell, and give this video a big thumbs up. Today we're going to make a delicious stovetop meatloaf. You will need two eggs, onion, either fresh, powdered, or dry. I use the dried onion from Lipton. An entire box of stovetop, a pound of ground beef, a tablespoon of ketchup, and three teaspoons of pepper, three teaspoons of garlic. I'm going to take the eggs and the mixture and everything, and you're going to mix it well until all of it is combined into the beef. Then we're going to pan it and let it marinate for about an hour or so before we put it into the air fryer. Nice, great, quick weeknight meal, or it could be a great Sunday meal. And make it real fancy with a delicious sauce topping. I'm going to place the meatloaf mixture into this dish. And it's going to go into my refrigerator until it's time to go into the air fryer. In the air fryer, if you want, you can put some foil down and then spray it. I'm going to pre-pat it into a bread form. And it makes... Amazing meatloafs, these air fryers. I've done the air fryer meatloaf before, but this is going to be my first one with the stuffing, and I haven't done a stuffing one in a long time. I have a ton of stuffing. You could do a turkey meatloaf with turkey stuffing too if you wanted to. Make a real healthy one. I'm going to let this sit in the fridge so it has time combined. I'm getting ready to prep the potatoes to go with the stovetop meatloaf and we're going to do some potato rounds in the air fryer and make this a friendly one pot meal within the air fryer. Prep the potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and peel them. And then we're going to cube them. Then I'm going to douse them in oil. Put them into a bowl of water to soak for a little bit. And season them with pepper and garlic. Go ahead and cut these potatoes. I'm filling up a bowl of water here. I'm going to fill it up to the tippy top. And the potatoes are going to go into the bowl. And this is about as thick as you want them. And then you're going to cut them in half. I've had a cardinal singing outside for about two hours now. I think they're teaching the young how to fly, and it sounds like it's worried. The blue jay were going crazy a little while ago, too. But I think there was a bird of prey nearby. We get a lot of bird of prey here. From hawk to eagle to owl. Vulture. We have heron that go to the river a lot. I'm going to finish cutting these and I'm going to add them to go the bowl. Go ahead and drop your potatoes into the bowl. I'm going to let them soak for a little bit. Then I'm going to towel dry them with some paper towel and season them with a few teaspoons of pepper and garlic and salt and a little bit of oil. About a tablespoon. These will cook nice, crispy, and delicious in the air fryer with meatloaf. And you can even throw in green beans and then make a complete one pot meal. What temperature are we gonna? 380. 380? Okay. And for how long? To preheat? 380 at. Uh, for five minutes. And how long do you think the meatloaf will take to cook? Uh, about 18 minutes. About 18 Same with minutes. the potatoes. Okay, yep. Potatoes may need a little extra, but we'll, we'll find out. We'll We're going to do it together. This is our first time doing it. Trial and error. So you can see how to do it and avoid mistakes that we may Adding make. Cut down a bunch of the potatoes. Some of them are going to save for later. And we're going to get ready to put the air fryer in. Get the foil. I'm going to put the foil down and spray. 
Um, you want the juices going through. Go ahead and spray the air fryer so it doesn't stick. Got a butter spray facial. Here's what it looks like as it's going in. I put about a tablespoon of oil and a couple of teaspoons of black pepper and a couple of teaspoons of salt. And now these are going to go into the air fryer with the meat loaf. Here's what it looks like as it's going in. Looks really good. Oh, needs more time. That's what I figured. The potatoes are crisping up nicely too. Look how brown they look. The meatloaf is done and so are the potatoes. That looks really great. And we have some French cut green beans in a can. And my husband likes to dip his in tomato soup. He's getting the tomato soup ready for dipping. And then we're going to get the green beans into a bowl. And we heat these up in the microwave. You can also do them in the air fryer for about three minutes with pepper and salt. Hope it's going to come right out without it breaking. You can see how hard he put that down and it stayed together. It is a little dark on the top, but I'm okay with that. Here's what the meatloaf looks like on my plate with the potato rounds, and they're nice and crispy and golden brown. The tomato soup looks really nice on the meatloaf with the French cut green beans. It looks really good and I can't wait to dive in. I haven't done stovetop meatloaf in a really long time. That's it for this video. Delicious stovetop air fryer meatloaf. Easy to do. A little dark on the top, but it was perfect. It came out solid and it cut into a loaf of bread form. And we dipped it with the tomato soup, which was delicious. You can do it with regular gravy or whatever you like to dip it with. Before we go, we have some giveaways. We're looking for 15 people to give away one five items prize pack from the Dollar Tree. Valued at $6.25. If you're new, just comment anywhere and let me know you're new. You have to be a U.S. resident and subscribed. If you comment all the time, you have to be a U.S. resident and subscribed. And you cannot have one in the past 60 days. Don't forget, when we get to $1,300, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. Same rules apply. And don't forget to smash on that subscribe button, tap on that bell, and give this video a big thumbs up.